gang, Tiger Bill here. Welcome back to another Tension Free Tuesday. Now, that was just some messing around with a pattern uh, that's called the Samba. And uh, the reason I did that this week is because last time, in the last session, uh, I covered uh, some Samba patterns uh, with using Ted Reed's syncopation book uh, to build your coordination when you're trying to play against the basic Samba pattern. Uh, but this one is... Uh, basically what the pattern sounds like when you use it in a practical sense on the kit or what it could sound like. Um, I'm try I was trying to just do different variations to give you an idea of what it should sound like. You shouldn't, when you're playing a samba in a legit, you know, <laughs> with a band, you wouldn't basically be doing all of that stuff and changing it around so much in different on different drums and things. You'd basically be playing the same, playing the same kind of pattern. Uh, I usually start out with a single stick and a brush and do that kind of thing. Uh, but it's just to give you, uh, you know, to, to help you increase uh, your level of creativity. So I suggest that for this time, this session, you mess around with the Samba on the drum set and see how many different sounds you can get out of it. Of course, always record yourself uh, because, you know, you really can't tell what you sound like until you play it back. Just tell it to, and you could really tell if you're right on or not. Okay, so hope that helps. Until next time, have fun with it, and always stay loose. Hey, if you like that video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I post. And don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the flip side.